Bayou Juanya. Dash. Even the name Nigeria is from the British. They created this fiction of a country by just arbitrarily drawing lines around territories and saying, okay, this belongs to the British, this is what we're going to call it, and joining independent nations who had nothing to do with each other, didn't speak each other's language. And also electing certain groups they favored to be the rulers. This is the history of the monarchy, and the queen was the head of the monarchy. Whether she was involved in day to day decisions or not, she existed because of those decisions. She never once opened her mouth to say sorry for the role of her government in the slaughter of three million civilians. Queen Elizabeth was representative of the cult of white womanhood. There's this notion that she was this little old lady grandma type with her little hats and her purses and little dogs and everything, as if she inhabited this place or this space in the imaginary, this public image, as someone who didn't have a hand in the bloodshed of her crown. How did she have that crown? Even the crowns she wears are looted, and plundered from the lands they exploited and extracted from. The entire treasury is a legacy of thievery that was achieved by murder, by enslavement, and it didn't stop after independence. I am very happy over the awareness I've created 48 hours ago. The likes of Jeff Bezos and many others have reacted. Questions are now been asked about the British Empire. Factually, Ojuku and Gown had a meeting in Ghana, to avert this sad history. But because the British Empire which is now under the leadership of King Charles LLL were paranoia, they influenced Gown to go ahead simply because they don't want another Japan in Africa. The history books are there. There was a country by Chinua Achebe is there for facts. The Biafra story by Frederick Forsyth and many others. Let me also state it once again that my family was a victim. There is no family in Igbo land who did not have a share of this sad history. Till this day, there's no apology. Again, I only dropped a tweet. The Irish people celebrated it with fireworks. You can check hashtag Irish Twitter hashtag on Twitter for emphasis. We must speak up. The Igbo needs justice. Africa needs justice. The 56 Commonwealth countries needs justice. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a step as rightly put, in the past few days I have been the global topic of discourse not that my assertions were manipulated but because I am a woman of honor, I should shy from the truth. It's pertinent to note that I have received backlash, condemnation, criticism and all sort of attacks because I made an attempt to unravel the hidden truth. I am on the verge of losing my friends from the West, my colleagues and associates in the field of research. I have been subsequently condemned and referred to my tweets as unguided utterances from the mischievous scholar but I laugh because they mostly come from a sect that are ignorant of pre-colonial, colonial colonial and post-colonial history of my home country Nigeria. I must appreciate your love and support on the fight against injustice as we all dream for a world of equitable justice and fairness. I am not moved with the pressure and threat coming from mostly my Western associates as the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of convenience and comfort but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy, Martin Luther King Jr. Engage your friends in the discourse, let's interact together and find a strategy to achieve our dream as African people. Invite more people. Those who did not know what Africans passed through and what happened in Igbo land 50 years ago will not understand why I made that opinion. It's time to make history a must in all African schools. My tweet yesterday was a form of protest. In the sense that those who have held us in the past are holding us today, ready to continue in future. I'm happy that my protest has achieved its aim. Again, every school in Africa must start teaching history. History will help us to always remember our past experiences, integrate it in our contemporary and prepares us for the future. The Irish people, Indians, parts of Asia and Africa were all victims to this empire. At Views Exclusive Rights, Uju Anya, Professor, September 8th to 11th, 2022. Greater than I will permit no man to narrow and degrade my soul by making me hate him. Booker T. Washington. We are all deeply sorry about the loss of your family members, Ms. Anya. Please don't carry hate in your heart as it does nothing but hurt you. Let God be the judge. Greater than. Greater than Michael T. At Michael T. 1129, September 10th, 2022. Greater than yes. UK supplied them with the weapons they used at the time. Every support the Nigerian government needed to execute the war came from the UK. Frederick Forsyth covered that war, go and read his works on that. Greater than. 
greater than they never tolerated opposition. We gave them tough time in Nigeria. Greater than. Greater than IPO EG, at IPO underscore OB, September 11, 2022. Greater than she is lobbying for her people and the grief they endured as a result of Britain's shameless occupation and genocide in her country. It is absolutely the right time to speak now that a new king has come to power. Greater than. Greater than IEET, at a word Bermloid, September 9, 2022. Greater than war is war. Greater than I wonder why we still blame the UK for a war that happened years back. Nigeria doesn't even come close to what other nations experienced. Let us stop dwelling in the past, the war has happened, no matter how much we play the blame game, we can't change what happened. Greater than. Greater than Udoka, at Equebelem Udoka 1, September 11, 2022. Greater than view this post on Instagram. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than a post shared by Uju Anya, at underscore Yuanya. Greater than view this post on Instagram. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than a post shared by Uju Anya, at underscore Yuanya. Greater than view this post on Instagram. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than. Greater than a post shared by Professor Uju Anya, at Uju underscore Anya. Greater than reminder that Queen Elizabeth is not a remnant of colonial times. She was an active participant in colonialism. She actively tried to stop independence movements and she tried to keep newly independent colonies from leaving the Commonwealth. The evil she did was enough https colon slash slash t dot co slash t zero bo. CZX. Greater than. Greater than Nsefo as feminist duck, pride flag, at Ya Asandawa Bath, September 8, 2022. Greater than do not allow anyone to distort this history into claiming that she allowed for independence on the continent. Independence was won despite her attempts to stop it. In fact, when her father died, she was on a tour of the colonies attempting to discourage independence movements, sparkles. Greater than. Greater than Nsefo as feminist duck, pride flag, at Ya Asandawa Bath, September 8, 2022. Greater than https colon slash slash t dot co slash wf lag. Greater than. Greater than Nsefo as feminist duck, pride flag, at Ya Asandawa Bath, September 8, 2022. Greater than they can't believe you're doing you unapologetically, bless their souls. Greater than. Greater than Tang Ted Tots, at Tang Ted Tots, September 7, 2022. Greater than you mean like you are doing on Twitter about the queen that passed away. You see people as hater because they didn't agree with her philosophy. What do you see yourself when you don't agree with other people's philosophy and you spout hateful tweets about them? Greater than. Greater than I.M.me, at LUG7, September 8, 2022. Greater than at least she's honest and open about it. Greater than many people in her tribe are but they do it in secret. Greater than. Greater than cleft, crown, at official underscore cleft, September 10, 2022.